Well, if you have not already watched my Collar Grayson Fan Fest video, you need to do so, but more importantly, you need to make sure you watch the entire thing because we've got a very special non collar Grayson surprise at the end of that video that's more along the lines of, yes, RCR. Let's walk inside. Take a look around, shall we? Six, 1987 Winston Cup Championships. Dale Earnhardt Sr. And there's the Dell Senior Wall. Great artwork right there. And you can't come to RCR without going in to the RCR Museum. The Dale Earnhardt Shrine, so to speak. So let's go inside. Peanuts, popcorn, and heroes. Humble beginnings. Number 20, owned by Richard Childress. <laughs> Jason has never been here before. And my own son doesn't watch my videos, so he just went, wow. Objection, we were here a few months ago. And right there is where it all started for Childress Racing. We'll be back over here momentarily. They said with colleague racing fan fest today, they have been super busy. And they imagine since the racing is this weekend in Concord at the Charlotte Motor Speedway that they're gonna get super busy. So they are preparing, got extra staff. Now Jason's grandfather is a diehard Dale Earnhardt Sr. fan, so Jason is like a kid in a candy store taking photos for his grandpa. And Jason, this is Richard Childress' original office. This is where Richard Childress and Dale Earnhardt signed his contract, and there's a copy of the contract right there. And if we do have any Richard Childers fans out there, I do have a couple of autographed Richard Childers photos. I tried giving one away a couple of months ago, and surprisingly enough, not one person said they wanted to win. But do you want to win a Richard Childers autograph photo? If so, you know the drill. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel, ring the bell for notifications, and leave a comment down below that you want to win a Richard Childress autographed photo. And I will draw it. And if you win, I'll send it to you. I'll take care of you. I definitely try to take care of you guys and girls. My way of saying thank you for subscribing to my channel, for watching, for liking my videos. You guys are the reason that I do this right here. There's the Wheaties and there's the Wheaties cereal box back there. Actually, there's some back there too. 
the small suite of rooms is where the legendary RCR horsepower has it put. It was here that the engines were built on the 6th. The room that we are in right now is the engine room. This is the Peter Max Good Wrench number three. Love that artwork. Talking about that Richard Childress autograph photo, I posted it at the end of one of the videos and I mentioned that I got it. You got to watch my whole videos, start to finish, because you never know. Some of the ones I just posted or posting has bonus footage at the end. And if I'm going to do giveaways moving forward, I'm going to do it either in the middle of the video or at the end, because I want everybody to watch the whole thing. It says it all right there on those champagne bottles. 1998 winner. And there's the car. Nineteen ninety eight Daytona five hundred winner. Get out of some of the glare. There we go. <laughs> Leave your Teresa comments below. I know they're soon to follow. Ah, choo choo train going by. That is RCR chassis number 68 right there being worked on. This is before they had the laser inspection tent. They had to do everything manually. This ride right here, this is the RCR chassis number 51.
in 1990 in pursuit of the elusive Daytona 500. The finish line was in sight when Dale Earnhardt suffered a blowout to his right front tire on the very last lap. By running over a piece of metal on the track, luck was not with Richard Childress racing on that day. Here's chassis number 56. Here we have come upon the wash bay, cleaning the cars, making them look pretty. And we have rolled up on another car hauler. Got some cars up top. In just a moment, we'll take a walk on the inside, but check out this wall. This wall is autographed by everybody and their brother. I need to run out to the car, grab my Sharpie, and come and sign one. DJ Wayne was here. Here is a number three Dale Earnhardt hauler. As I said, we're getting ready to go inside, take a look around. There he is bringing the hauler in. Here it be. He heard me say that. I was mistaken at College Racing. I said outside of the NASCAR Hall of Fame, we have not been in a hauler. We have. We have actually been in this hauler in one of our previous videos. If you want to make sure you check that video out, go look for it. You'll find it right here on this channel. In case I missed something today. Now today they got the food locked up. Can't quite get to those Oreos. Oreos, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, my two favorite, absolutely. Wow. So if you ever wanted to know what it looked like in a Dale Earnhardt holler, well here you go. Timing and scoring monitor. We'll take a look going back before we move our way up to the front. Oh, hello. Drivers meeting 10 a.m., chapel at 10.45, crew meeting 11.30, don't be late. And there's your uniforms. And moving on down the line here in the hauler. It's open up here too. So you definitely could hop up there from this one. That's really cool. But there is Dale Earnhardt's number three hauler for your review and pleasure. As we learned at JR Motorsports, the second car that travels in these haulers do not carry an engine or transmission in the cars.
This lounge is not lit up. We did go in a hauler at Collar Grayson and the driver lounge was open. So if you want to check out the inside, better lit up than this, check out the Collar Grayson video from FanFest. We have made our way outside of the hauler. Check out that sleeper. I doubt it's open, but let's see, see if we can take a peek in there. That'd have been nice. I'd love to see what the inside of that big sleeper, that's like a little motel room right there. Oh, DJ Wayne, what's up everybody? Hope you enjoying the videos. Thank you guys and girls for watching. As I always say, if you have not already done so, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Ring the bell for notifications. Leave amazing, exciting, happy, awesome comments. If you want an autograph Richard Childers photo, make sure you post it in the comments below and you'll be in the drawing. We are now in the research and development room here at RCR. Nineteen ninety four Monte Carlo's return to NASCAR. So now we are in the fabrication shop, taking a look around. If you have not watched some of our videos, please make sure you take the time to do so. We go to as many possible race shops as we can that allow us to go in. We've had some fun. Everybody's been super nice. We go and visit, we visit tracks. We were in Bristol earlier this year when they ran in the dirt at night in the rain. We were also in Atlanta this year, had pit passes, got to meet a lot of celebrities in Atlanta, had a great time. The weather was great, Chase Elliott won. Oh, and did I mention Kyle Busch won Bristol? That's right. We have ordered our Lionel Racing Diecast Elite cars. Kyle Busch will be here around Thanksgiving. Chase Elliott won't be here until April of 2023. And Chris Busher's, I think Chris Busher's might be here in March or April of 2023. We got a ways to wait on it, that's for sure. But please make sure you take a look at all of our videos. I've got videos of me driving on the track at Hickory Motor Speedway. We went down to Bowman Gray Stadium and Winston-Salem. I got my car on the track. We've been to Darlington. We took the Darlington tour just before the Southern 500 race. And on our agenda, we're gonna try really hard to make Martinsville this year. We're gonna make Daytona 500 next year. And we're gonna keep these videos going. We're going to hit every possible racing museum we can for you guys and girls. And we certainly do appreciate you guys watching. Now we are in the section of the museum that is not Dale Earnhardt. Except the Kevin Harvick Goodrent Chevrolet, the white one. There's Dale Jr. Oreo Ritz Cracker, Lowe's Home Improvement, here we got the Chevy Impala Clint Boyer, number 33, victory lap, 71 to 2003. Here's who I'll be working with this coming week, Piedmont Airlines, the Silver Eagles. One of those Labonte brothers will be there. This is the Ricky Rudd number three right here though.
Childress Racing scored their first career victory on a major circuit with Ricky Rudd in the number three Piedmont Airlines number three. June 5th, 1983, Riverside International Raceway. Here's a Kevin Harvick number 29. Definitely race to use, that's for sure. This one is from the 2007 Daytona 500. This next one is from 2006 Watkins Glen. Winning car. It definitely took some hits and dings on it. Bump to bruise. Got a tire mark right there. Here is the number three. I'm sorry, 2003 Brickyard 400 Victory car. There they are kissing the bricks. Check out those tires. This is the 2003 Brickyard 400 Victory burnout tires. He tore them up. And this, of course, is the infamous number 29 Goodrich Service Plus Chevy that Kevin Harvard drove Atlanta Motor Speedway in March 2001. Jason was telling me when he won, he made a victory lap around the track holding up his fingers, the number three. And so many people calling him. Every single person there had their hands up and in the seat. I would imagine so. There we go. This might be the actual race. Let's take a look. How cool is that right there? Winston-Salem Area Soapbox Derby. And now let's move over. Here's Tyler Reddick's number two. Tame the Beast. Two-time champion, 2018-2019. Six wins, 24 top fives, 27 top tens, five pole awards, and four stage wins. Here we go, Clint Boyer, number two. Jason is a big Tyler Reddick fan. Kevin Harvey 21 here, Coast Guard. Shout out as always to my fellow veterans. Navy vet here, thank you guys and girls who have served or are serving. Thank you for your sacrifice. That payday has seen better days, that's for sure. Here's the Holiday Inn, number 29. And of course, we got the number two, Clint Boyer, right here. Right front, number six, tire. Quick look down this row of race cars. And here we have the pride of Richard Childers today, grandson Austin Dillon, number three. DJ Faith and I were over at Childers Winery a couple years ago, got to meet Richard Childers and Austin Dillon. Got our photos taken with them. Then they autographed the photos for it. We got it framed in our DJ office. We enjoy returning to the 
Childress Winery, good wine, good food, and a great time. If you're ever up here in Welcome, North Carolina, make sure you visit this campus right here. You've got our racing, you've got college racing, and of course you got the Richard Childress Race Shops and Museum. But then just right down the road, you've got Childress Winery. Go in there, have lunch, have you a glass of wine, take a tour, and you never know who you just might meet when you're there. We've met Mr. Childers there more than once. Always friendly. Coming around the corner, there's that 29 once again. Got some more fans here hanging out. Another Austin Dillon number three. <laughs> Look at that flag. That flag is definitely take a beating. Carolina Cowboy. There's a photo of Austin Dillon kissing the ground there. Number 39, American Ethanol Camping World Truck Series pickup. Let's take a look inside. July 24th, 2013, winner. Here is a classic Richard Childress ride. His own personal number three. High performance chemicals. Check the inside of that classic ride out. Very cool. Bass Pro Shops number three, Austin Dillon. And Bass Pro Shops, Ty Dillon, number 41. We'll be meeting Ty tomorrow at Petty GMS Fan Fest. Right here we have the number three NASCAR Cup Series Championship. Take a look inside there. Western Steer. Who remembers eating at a Western Steer? That's a good food right there. Boy, look at the size of that rear view mirror up there, huh? Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. But we're not quite done yet. This is the Mike Skinner number three good wrench pickup truck. There we go, take a look at the inside there. Bless you. And last but not least on this tour, 2001 NASCAR Bush Championship Series car. The number two, look at that tire. Look at the damage. Kevin Harvick. We'll zoom in there on that sign so you can read it. Pause your video if you need to. Then we'll take a look on the inside.
Any Brooks and Dunn fans out there? Autograph guitars. There's a Kicks Brook Hot Flash, number 81B. Legends car. At one point, John Boy and Billy. Vince Neal even raced in one. And other celebrities got in behind the wheel of the Legends cars for races. This one here just happens to be the Brooks and Dunn. Kicks Brooks, number 81. All right, as we wrap up the tour, there's Jason just kind of chilling out on the RCR couch, watching some Dale Earnhardt videos. And as the sign says, this is the tour exit. Victory Lane right here. DJ Wayne, thank you guys for watching. We are on the campus of Richard Childress Racing. And we're out of here. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I was thank y'all for coming by. Chocolate's uh he uh, when the three o'clock rolls around, he's already halfway down the road. So we, I've already I live him. at the beach. <laughs> I live at the beach. Oh, I, I called up last week. I said, so when is chocolate here? And he said, We never know because he yeah. lives further so away. So let, let, let me tell you a real quick story. We were having a fan day up here. Marcus calls me. He says, Hey chocolate, he said, I got some some of my people coming up there. He said you got time to give them the nickel tour. And I said, the nickel tour? He said, yeah, I want you to show them around. I said, yeah, yeah, I'll take care of them. I said, just tell them when they get here to see me and, I, and I'll take care of it. So we're, we couldn't be any busier, right? And, and the guy walks up and he said, hey, he said, uh, Dave Marcus sent us up here to get the nickel tour. And I said, guys, I'll be right with I said, how many of you? He said, 22. <laughs> the nickel tour. Got a bus out there.